we've learnt a lot about the Energy Star ratings that houses use over the journey of this season. But what does it take to create a home with the highest energy rating? Jimmy is heading to Adelaide to meet Jessica Allen and unwrap South Australia's very first 10 star home. We are north, so we're facing right. north here. So this roof is raking up to the north so that the highlight windows can go in and we capture all of that natural light. That's right. In winter, we are able to capture a lot of the winter sun. The first thing is the orientation of the home. That's the first thing we think about when we talk about passive design is where's the sun and how are we going to get that into the house? The slab's got a, a nice dark tint to it, so that's again something you guys have thought about to, right. to be able to accomplish this 10 stars, is, is that if that were just normal grey polished concrete, it, it wouldn't perform as well as a, as a dark tinted slab. Yeah, that's right. So dark colours absorb more heat. Yeah. Um, everything in this house was done on purpose, so, yeah. and that includes the colour of the slab. So Jess, we've been inside for literally two minutes and the difference from outside to inside is phenomenal. I mean, outside it's blowing a gale, there's traffic on the street and it's, it's quite loud and, and obnoxious out there. But in here, it's dead silent, it's nice and warm. The main thing is the glazing. So it's triple glazed, we've got triple glazed windows in this house. Um, so they've got thermal benefits as well as acoustic benefits. The second thing is the glazing. So the weakest point in any building or dwelling is the glazing. So you need to make sure that you've got high quality glazing. Other major factor that contributes to the noise insulation is the air tightness. So this house is extremely airtight, which means that there aren't any holes and gaps and cracks. Firstly, for your heat and energy to leak out of. Yeah. Um, and also there's no for the noise to come through. No little gaps for the noise to sneak through. And while I'm on the topic, the other really good thing about an airtight structure like this one is that there's no gaps. This is an all electric home. Everything is electric, including the, the cooktop um, and the water heating. Um, and the array on the roof, I believe, is three kilowatts. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, it's not that big. No, it's not. We I don't mean, you need know, that much. In Queensland, like where everyone's chasing the 10 and 12 kilowatt systems to try and because we're, we're running yeah. so much. And I guess that's the key feature that we're trying to show in this house is that you don't need to have that much power to live a comfortable life. And yeah. this, is, this is an average. Average Joe type house, it's not big, but it's a 10 star rating house, which yeah. is absolutely amazing. That's right, everything in this house has been done on purpose to make sure that the energy consumption is as low as possible. The third thing is the insulation. Having a super insulated structure is really important. You insulate a house to make sure that any heat that comes in via the northern windows stays in. And then in, in summer, you make sure that you have the correct shading um, across your northern and western aspects, and also that you've got uh, adequate ventilation um, so that when the house gets too hot um, overnight, you can purge that heat out via these, these high windows, heat rises. Yeah. And so all of the hot air at night time is purged out of those highlight windows. And the fourth thing is the slab and the thermal mass. Those four things um, have really worked together to create the high star rating in this home. Oh, this, this one, is where all the smart stuff this is. is. Yeah, this is the little uh, cupboard that holds all of the, the fun stuff. So another aspect of this house to do with air tightness is there's only one penetration in this house. Yeah, so right. all of the wiring actually comes through this conduit that comes through the slab, some PVC pipe that comes through one space in the slab and yep. then comes up through the slab and all of the wiring comes up through here, up into the roof space and fans out. So typically yeah. when builders, carpenters come through um, and they wrap the house, the electricians will come through Cut and slice holes through everywhere. the wrap. Yeah. Um, in this house that didn't happen, there was an absolutely zero penetration rule yeah. in the, the building wrap that's around this house and that's why the wiring is all through that one cupboard. So mate, we're here in the beautiful Suho home and you, ABB is the home automation system that's pretty much throughout this whole house. The whole house, as you know, is, is around energy efficiency and how we can actually reduce the environmental impact and reducing the cost also. But what we need to make sure is also that you also use the energy 
only where it's needed and when it's needed. Yeah. So the automation plays a role here to take really the responsibility from the people who live in that house uh, and really automating the things to really make sure they don't have to think about that. What are some of the, the key features that, that comes in the ABB system that makes sure that this house is working at its best capacity? The heating and ventilation part is a, is a big element of it. This house has physically no real heating system as in, in, a, in a traditional way. So keeping and maintaining the temperature um, and the, the airflow obviously accordingly is a, is a very big, big part of it. So when we're measuring the temperature here and it reaches a certain um, uh, point where it gets too hot, Mm -hmm. uh, then obviously this smart uh, system actually starts opening the, the skylights to aid with the ventilation, etc, etc. The holistic approach is, is really uh, where we're going nowadays. Mm -hmm. It's not an isolated approach, oh, just to some lighting control. Yeah. It's, it's a complete package for energy efficiency, but also for comfort and security. This home is, um, it's 10 stars, right? We know that. It's what we like to call a concept car. Not everyone is gonna be able to um, build a 10 star home. It's not always possible, um, depending on the, the block that you buy. We think that the eight star level is more of an achievable level for most okay. for most homes. Um, it's much, much more achievable than you think if you get it right from the start. The perception is that anything to do with energy efficiency or high performance is perceived to be higher cost as well and that is not the case. It's not necessarily the case if you get in early and design it into the house from the start.